Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. We we'll begin our program today with a story from the Philippines. The Battle of Marawi in southern Philippines in 2017 killed thousands of people and displaced millions of people. Two years have passed and people still cannot return home. The government then called this place where people live in tents, so in Monoc, Tent City. A local chief then provided his land to Siji to build 400 prefabricated houses for ten dwellers. City volunteers went to the tent city on December 2nd to see how people are doing. Let's join them there. Paggabi na isip ko sila, yung na isip ko yung before na masaya kami, bisang lumalabas kami, pumapunta kami ng iligan, kumakay sa labas. Looking at the tent city, Wada has no sense of belonging, only sadness. We see tent after tent in this vast land. These are people's homes after the Battle of Marawi in 2017. We live every second in misery. We have become the domestic refugees according to the definition of the United Nations. Wada and her husband used to own a jewelry store in Marawi, so they lived a very luxurious life. But the civil war destroyed everything they had. Living in tent city is either very humid and hot or very cold. Because the wind will penetrate the tent, everything we once owned is totally different from what we have now. <laughs> Wada had a rich friend called Faridad, but had not seen her after the war until this time. Farida has been helping Suji volunteers with translating in the tent city, and they unexpectedly meet once more. More than a friendship, ang meron kami. And then, we're very like sisters, and I didn't expect to see her again after the war. She kept saying that she lived quite well. This is the way she is. She's very tough. Hi, <laughs> Sola. <laughs> the friendship that is reconnected is like a flower blooming again on this scorched land. <laughs> 